Hey everybody, this is Jordan from PictureMonk.com and welcome to a very long-awaited uh, PictureMonk method video. And in these videos, as you know if you've seen them before, these are the videos that where I just take a photo that I recently taken and just kind of edit it the way I kind of uh, I kind of would like, and just you can see the editing process as far as uh, as far as these photos uh, go. So, uh, and in this photo right here, we have of a of an undershot of a pier. And uh, I kind of put a poll, a small poll out there on my, uh, on the Picture Monk uh, Nation Facebook page. So if you are a photographer and you want to share some photos and just have a little community going, uh, just go to facebook.com and uh, search for Picture Monk Nation. And from there, you can uh, just request to be a member, or you can go to picturemonk.com slash nation, and that'll take you directly there. And you can request to be a member and just come along and enjoy the fun. So... Uh, so the poll I put out there was whether uh, people would like to see a black and white photo or a color photo of this pier. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of go ahead and uh, redo a black and white photo that I took uh, since most of the people on that Facebook page like the black and white. So let's go and get started and I'll kind of walk through this here. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is definitely take down the highlights. I kind of blew those out a little bit to try to get more detail in, uh, in the underside of the pier. So uh, in order to get more detail also, I'm going to go ahead and increase the shadows so I can see a little bit more there. That'll also help when I go to, uh, go to turn this black and white so I can get more detail. Uh, one thing quickly that I do notice is the horizon is way, way off. Um, I didn't think it was that far off when I took it, so I'm just gonna kinda go ahead and straighten this out a little bit. Uh, believe the horizon line right around there. I'll lose a little bit of the photo, but not much. Um, let's see. Let's see how the lens correction usually works. I usually turn these on in the beginning, um, but it kind of—I kind of like it without the lens correction. To tell you the truth, so I'm going to keep it there. Um, and then let's go ahead and turn this black and white, so we can get the edit going there. So right around there, kind of, kind of just bland. So we want to kind of bump that up a little bit. Uh, increase the contrast definitely to get more. Uh, more, um, more detail, uh, more crispness, <laughs> if that's even a word. Uh, increase the clarity. You kind of bring out some of the detail here. Also going to take my sharpening up a little bit. Right around there. And I don't usually do this, but I'm going to go ahead and put the dehaze on here to see what it does. Definitely gives it a little bit more of a kick. So let's go back up and take down the contrast. Increase the shadows a little bit. So kind of like in that one. Um, that's kind of like a basic. Actually, let's go to the tone curve and take down the highlights. Ah, I don't know. Kind of want it to be really punchy. Let's take. Let's just keep it right there. So that's a good, good standard black and white edit. Uh, I'm gonna take my snapshots here, and I'm gonna go ahead and save this as black and white or BW one. And then let's play around with another one. Uh, we're gonna keep the same, same contrast here. But uh, I've been a stickler for this fading effect, uh, so it's kind of weird to put contrast and a fade on it. But let's just see how it works. So kind of like there. I do kind of like that. It's more of a more of a nostalgic sort of thing. But increase the clarity. Yeah, something like that. Maybe increase the contrast a little bit again. So I kind of like that one. I'm going to get my adjustment brush here and just paint a little bit of the sky back if I can without messing up the poles. I don't want to get too crazy with it and just start painting over a bunch of stuff and then having to erase it and all this kind of stuff. So I'm going to take my flow down, density down a little bit so I can just kind of brush over it every, one, uh, every so often. And what else can we do to this guy here? What else can we do? Um, I kind of think that's it, to tell you the truth. Could back down the exposure. Punch it up a little bit more. It comes to get a little more crispy 
right here. I kind of use that word often, crispy. Um, so let's do black and white too. Right there. All right, so now this was our first one. It's sort of, sort of a classic. Uh, you can't really go wrong with kind of a standard black and white. And this one's kind of a more stylized. I kind of, if I was going to hang this on a wall or, or something like that, I would tell you the truth, probably use this one. Um, cause it, it is kind of faded, but it also has a black and white and, and crunchy, a uh, crunchy effect here. So I don't know. I'm good with both of them, but, uh, but I kind of like the faded one. So, so that's it guys. It's a quick little edit. Tell me which one you like. Do you like the black and white one or two? And let me know what your thoughts are. And, uh, and, and yeah, hope you enjoy these little quick videos i like making these little short um short editing videos just so we can kind of share some stuff and and share some editing techniques so uh again let me know which one you guys liked in the comments down below and uh thank you for joining me in this picture Mump method video this is jordan for picture and i will see you guys in the next one